Good morning guys. So I am on my way to a meeting this morning. Yesterday we didn't end up, what well we did, really briefly going to Grand Seiko, but hubby wants to go back again today and properly have a look. So I will try vlog that. And then we are going to take the kids uh, for to Bondi Beach because they haven't been before. So I will take you guys along. So yeah, just back on Pitt Street Mall, as you can see, I'm just walking. It's just a buzz of activity, even though today is uh, today's actually a public holiday. But I'm just going to turn around and yeah, just show you the Goodwill Wall again, which is right here. So that is the Goodwill Wall for Fred Hollows. Yeah, I'm just amazed that $25 can actually restore sites. So do consider um, donating. I actually have a link down below. Even if it's $5, guys, whatever you can. If you can do $25, that's great, but every little bit counts. So I will set that up below and it goes all to Fred Hollows. As you can see, I've already donated a portion of all my earring sales. I have gone to Fred Hollows already and throughout the year, we're just gonna keep that open and hopefully raise money for such a good cause. Anyway, um, we're gonna check out some more watches. Bear in mind, I don't know that much about watches, but let's take a look together. So guys, we are in Grand Seiko at the moment. Hubby is trying on a watch. This is a, I don't even know, I'm gonna get Victor to explain. This is an automatic watch, isn't it? That's correct. So this is an automatic Grand Seiko GMT, part okay. of the Elegance collection. Elegance, yeah. And so what makes Grand Seiko different? Like, is there, is there something special about it compared to other watch brands? So I suppose, like I was saying before, yes. what makes Grand Seiko, I suppose, different or yeah. special is that a lot of the movements are hand hand done and hand yeah. finished okay. and we can see that it's prevalent especially on the case okay. and also on the dial of a lot of our watches so okay. for example the snowflake I was, just, I was telling you guys before yeah it's our most signature dial in okay. the Grand Seiko collection so we'll have a look at that so when you say mm -hmm. hand finished all mm -hmm. this sort of dial um, all this is like hand polished that's is that correct right? Sunburst. I like that it. You can see it has more as I it's the even do this with the, the grad. Yeah, as I move, you can see it sort of moves. It's very more interesting. Within this is more flatter, but on actually video, this looks better. But in real life, this looks just as nice. But it's good just to get a video of it. So whilst I was at my work meeting, hubby took the kids to see some of the amazing Sydney sights. So Killer Key is a definite must visit for those of you that haven't been to Sydney because it's like the centre place and you can see the Sydney Harbour Bridge, you can see all the boats and the ferries. Actually, if you look at the yellow and gold ferry, Fred Hollows actually has one named after him, but unfortunately we missed that one. But yeah, the key is gorgeous. You can see the Sydney Opera House as well. On that day, there was some construction, so we couldn't go up the steps, but normally you can explore that a bit more, which is always amazing to see. And there's always like straight performers out there. So I highly recommend uh, this as an area to explore, not to mention the rocks is nearby with lots of sh shopping as well. And that is where we are off to next. More white shopping for hubby. So as you can see, there's Longines, Omega, Mont Blanc, Tag, Rado. So yeah, it's really a good floor if you're a watch enthusiast to come and have a look. This is the Omega Seamaster. I quite like this, it's quite simplistic. 
same as there again but it's got the gorgeous croc uh, embossed leather strap which makes it a lot more dressier doesn't it okay that looks quite nice on so here are some of the Omega Speedmasters and then hubby wants to try on some of the diving watches I believe so this is a dive watch and how can you tell it's a dive watch it's got the rotating bezel on it oh, it's got the rotating bezel better on than off this is the tag Monaco watch square face not sure how I feel about the square face but you were saying Jeremy this is quite rare it's yeah. quite rare, rare yeah. mm. I don't mind the coloring I'm just not sure about the square face sure I, I like the circular face on you better mm. I don't think so no it's good to kind of try so this is the glossite guys I don't know as much about watches but this brand I actually haven't heard of I think I prefer the IWC, which are these ones, which I'm told that this and this is their best-selling models of it. Yep. What do you think? Which one do you mm, like? Not sure yet. So now this is the IWC, and it's the latest range, which is the Spitfire, which is named after an aeroplane. Is that right? <laughs> Oh, it's named after a fighter plane. So now we have some Jaeger local watches. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty new to watches, guys, but I thought I'll just show you some since hubby's trying some on. So just because I'm in DFS, I'll have a look at Coach. This bucket bag is quite cute. What do you guys think of this bucket bag? quite simplistic but I quite like it so just a quick look around I don't know what that's called but I like the top handle not so much in this but just give you a quick look some of the bags they're monogram bags I'm not as familiar with coach guys but I hear what you've said you wanted me to vlog a little bit so the backpack is very very cute really like the tabby I think the tabby is such a versatile bag show you I like this one with the buckle and then the tweed version as well good afternoon guys so here we are at the famous Bondi Beach I think I've been here years ago but not for a while so now it's sunny the kids are gonna sure if they're gonna go in the water but they did bring their bathers as you can see it is so so busy but it is a beautiful afternoon Here is actually some footage of the lifeguards. We have a show called Bondi Rescue in Australia. You can see that they're filming for it. So just shout out to all the lifeguards out there for keeping us safe at the beach. So yeah, just make sure you heed all the warning signs, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to show you that. Outside now, gonna have some dinner, um, pizza, pasta, all the good stuff. It's really, it's cooled down now, which is really nice. Look at my hair, frizzy hair, don't care, right? This is the humidity, <laughs> but that's okay. 
Miss Esty, you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. She had a good swim <laughs> with her brother on the beach and everyone's just starving now, so we're just going to dig in. So I've got the scotch fillet, we've got some gnocchi and we've got a big pizza coming as well. because it is the year of the rat so they've got this little guy and this little guy and of course my favorite yellow So last day in Sydney, it was short but sweet. We decided to have brunch at a place called the Grounds of the City, which we love. It's a quaint place, love all the sort of decoration. The food was delicious. The kids loved it, hubby loved it. Yeah, definitely would go back. And then we just spent the final hour just sort of like wandering the streets of Sydney. Where you're seeing now is just George Street, which is a very popular street there. And yeah, we just thoroughly enjoyed our time. Uh, three days definitely wasn't enough and hopefully we'll be back soon. Hey guys, so we're just at the airport now. We're just waiting for our flight to board. So I really hope you enjoyed coming along to Sydney with us. Did you have a good time? Yes and we saw some of the sites the kids went to bondi beach where else did you go uh, we went to circular key circular key sydney harbour bridge so thank you so much to fred hollows for flying me up by the way guys this video is not sponsored by them i was just so humbled and honored that they asked me to come be the lunar Nia ambassador and that we got to bring the kids we paid for the kids flights which i thought would be fun for them because they've never been to sydney before yeah. But I'll leave a link down below, only $25 restore site to one person. I think that's just so worth it and someone can see again. And yeah, I just hope you enjoyed a bit of the shopping, sightseeing and just spending a bit of time with us. But do consider donating. Um, I just, I'm just so happy to bring some awareness on my channel. I definitely want to do more charity work. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Bye guys! guys.